Vlogmas 19, baby. Oh, the first job of the day is to empty this car full of Nike trains. In yesterday's vlog, we bought a hell of a lot of Nike trailers from the Nike outlet store. We're now gonna have to get them inside and put away, I think, yeah, what an absolute bargain. Nike Air Max Invigors was scanning in 11.75, brand new in box, which is crazy. These are brand new Nike Airs, Crimsons, and they saw, they were scanning in like 20 quid. Probably get about 60 quid each for them. And these are the beauts. These are the Nike Air Invigors, brand new in box. They were scanning in at 11 pound and 75p. And I think we've got about 15 of them. So we need to empty this car. And yes, the UPS boxes are coming back in because the shop didn't allow me to drop them off. So I've arranged a collection last night for UPS to pick up on Monday morning. Yep, we've got some more Nike Air Bolts, 1995. Literally, we've got some in crimson, we've got some in white and black. We've got some brand new unboxed stuff. Oh boy. We also picked up a couple of these Nike Goterras. These are like Nike proper cool boots. Look at them, Nike Air Goterras. They scanned in at £40. Should be looking at anywhere between £100 and £110 back from them. Decent sizes as well. We've got two UK 10s. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. These bad boys cost us £8 each. We've got a few of them as well. Right, now that all the Nikes have been unloaded from the car, we're actually going to pop out and hopefully get a frame for the Syndicate poster that I want to get framed and I want to get it hung up on my uh, sort of behind my computer desk. Um, and then we might accidentally fall into some shops as well. Just to build up the Amazon a bit more, just keep building and building and building. With Amazon, what I have found is such a buying game. So you just continuously need to be buying stock for it. eBay is trickling in nicely. We did do some listings last night and we've started doing some this morning. We've listed three more Arsenal shirts and we've got three more items drafted just need to do the photos for it which i'm doing that all off camera because you've probably seen me pick the items so it's not hard to list it you literally put on a background and take some snappy snaps and that's it so what we're going to do is get a frame for the poster right this is the poster that i want to get framed today i've taken measurements it's signed by the man himself syndicate with a little smiley phrase john luke actually let me know that these frame really well so for that reason i'm, I'm going to go and get a frame for this as well and put it above my triple monitor setup so today's aim is to find a frame for this and yeah probably pop into some shops on the way like smith's Boots, TK Maxx, Superdrug, and all that good stuff. Today's choice of Kreps New Balance 680s. Wallet, let's go. Now we have my wallet. Nearly left it without, again, without my wallet, again. But we've, we went back in the house and got it. So, let's go. I'm feeling Wigan. There's a good retail park in Wigan. So, we're going to hit that now. And I'm going to take you with me. And a poke for the road. We've made it first. We're going to get the Greggs. Oh, that's a good looking pizza. Right, Greg's been spy time. I wonder if James is inside there. Awesome. Right, Greg's completed. We're gonna hit and we're gonna start with, I think, Super Drug. So I'll meet you inside Super Drug. Uh, change of mind, we're hitting boots instead. So with Amazon, they are very, very particular with brand new boxes. That would definitely not be accepted in Amazon's for that reason. It's going back. These are pretty good, £2.60. Should be able to get about £5.60 pure profit after fees, Amazon FBA and all that good stuff. So that's a really nice return on investment. So we'll pick them two up as well. Clean up the boxes a little bit. Uh, it doesn't matter about the cross across the barcode because your SKU labels will go over the top of that anyway. Boxes in generally good condition. So yeah, these will come home with us. Hey, hey, hey. Not the beer, best, uh, biggest haul, but a nice small boots bag. I've never been to this shop, but we'll see if it's any good for what we're looking for. Yeah, I've landed in Curry's. This could be expensive. Oh, this is such a satisfying keyboard sound. 
I do fancy a new keyboard to be fair. Could you imagine if I came back with this? Wowzers. That is huge. How big is this? I was gonna say, it can't be 699, it's gonna be this one, hasn't it? 77 inches. Oh, I mean, where would you even put this thing? Mental. 77 inch TVs now, what the? Why are TVs so freaking big now? I got a 52 inch, I think, or 50 inch. And it's plenty. 75, 80 inch TVs. Jeez. I think we have found something on Curry's. 27.49 for a 604 XL. There's two of them there. They sell for like 85 pound on eBay. So that's one for eBay. <sighs> uh, maybe we won't be getting them off for then. God damn it. It was pineapple, but it wasn't XL and it wasn't a multi pack, it was black. That was supposed to be that price, but they didn't have any of them in either. So, <sighs> I hate curries. Future editing Kieran here. Let me just explain a little bit more about the story and the today's title. Um, I was under the impression that they had to honour the price that was on the ticket. However, now that I'm back home and I've had a little bit of a research, they don't have to honour it at all. It's very, very simple. Under the Consumer Act, if an item is brought to the till and it scans in at a different price to what it says on the ticket, they don't actually have to sell it to you. I was under the impression that they did. And for that reason, I thought it was against the law. However, they don't actually have to honour it at all. If you actually successfully pay for the item and then they realise that was the wrong price, then they can't officially take that item off you. They have to honour that no matter what. But yeah, I thought I'd just clear it. Right. You probably know that I'm in TK Maxx, but we have a nice Nautica oversized sweater. Just have a look on eBay. They're going for about 30 quid, 15 pounds. So there isn't enough meat on the bone. The jeans section is pretty, pretty poor, so they're not going to lie. This is a label you'd like to see. Gold label, very important. £42. What could these be? Neil Barrett. This could be good. They've got some weird and wonderful cuffs. I think I'm going to give it a go. I think I might be able to push 100 on that, so... For that reason, look at them. I'm taking them. They're literally, I saw what's in the clearance. It's just one aisle. That's only half of clothing rail aisle as well. So, yeah, we've got one bit of clothing. Let's see what else we can find in the shop. I do love this. Love that brand as well, Free Nature. That is sick. Yeah, so we're just going to quickly pop into Asda now. Um, I haven't recorded too much because I've got some Christmas presents as well for some people that might be watching this vlog. So I couldn't show it too much just in case. So we're gonna fly to Asda now and see what we can find. What we actually, I almost forgot what we actually came out for and that was to get a frame to fit the poster. I think it's the same size as an A2. So do I want it in black or do I want it in white? I think black looks a little bit more stylish. So, yes, we'll go with that. £6.50 bag. Right, we're now home. So let's see what the rest of the day entails. Let's go. Wow, wow, we well. I've literally just watched a, the best football game I think I've ever sat down and watched. And that was the World Cup final. If you did watch that, wow, we were in for a treat. What a freaking game. It had a bit of everything. The comeback from France was phenomenal. It was written in the stars for Messi to win that. And to be honest, I am a Messi fan, so I'm glad he won. Messi or Ronaldo? Let me know in the comments section below. Are you a Messi or are you Ronaldo? I'm going to say it here and I'm going to say it once. I am Team Messi. Always have been and always will be. So, yeah, I spent the last three hours watching the football. I've not really done anything since then. But... What a freaking game. Definitely the best, best, best final I've ever watched and ever witnessed. So let's get on with the rest of the day. And oh yeah, 
We've just ordered a Chinese as well. The Chinese has arrived, baby. We've got a black bean beef with onions and green peppers. Oh, hoo -hoo. We've got some boiled rice. We've got some prawn crackers. Bish, bash, bosh. Let's get this down in my tummy. I think we might need some vinegar on me old uh, rice and black bean sauce. Let's put this on there then. I am joking, by the way. Don't put chesty cough medicine on your Chinese. It's not good. Oh, boys, that looks so good. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs and rabbits. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy that video. If you did, please do me one huge favor and smash the hell out of that like button. Turn it blue or white, depending on what time of day you are watching this. And yeah, I'll see you beautiful lot in tomorrow's video. Let's go.